Hello and welcome to Free Loudspeaker Plan website. This is the video tutorial basic number one and it is about HornRasp system model. First of all, many thanks to Mr. David J. McBean, he is the creator and the developer of the software called HornRasp. He make it available to everyone for free. So thank you so much Mr. McBean. What is the system model? Why is it important? So basically the system model is a block diagram. There will be different blocks and those blocks will be connected and arranged in a specific way to create a virtual representation of your loudspeaker. This will allow the software HornRasp to run simulations and to predict the response of your loudspeaker. The response can be the sound pressure level, it can be the phase and many other response available inside the software. And just to give you an overall idea, we are not going into detail here. There will be some different blocks to represent segments, chambers, port, adapters, driver, connections, and sound output. Regarding segments, inside each segment, it will carry information about the horn profile, like the size of the horn, the size of the throat, and so on. Chamber the same, it will carry information regarding the chamber, like it is a closed chamber or it is an open chamber. The driver will carry a lot of information, like TL small parameters, how many drivers are assembled in this loudspeaker, how those drivers are connected, and so on. So here are some examples of the system model available in the horn hasp. The first one is the compound horn. We can see that it's a compound because we have two sound outputs and the, those blocks are connected in series. The second example is the offset drive horn. We can see that there are some blocks connected in series with the driver and then the signal is sent in between two horn segments, H1 and H2. There is the stupid horn, there is the paraflex horn, and there are others. Those are just some examples that you can see that they are very different. Where you can find the system model available inside the software horn rasp. There are two places. The first one is while running the input wizard. There will be some steps in the workflow and after you pick up or you choose what system type you want to run simulations, it will show you the system model according to the system type you choose. If you are already in the input screen and you want to access again the system model of the system you choose to simulate, you can also go to the loudspeaker reset and inside the loudspeaker reset you can click on the Dropbox menu and select system model. It will also show you the system model of your loudspeaker. So let's see here some example. Basically the loudspeaker it's just a box made from woods with a lot of empty space, right? And just looking to the box or to the enclosure we cannot see too much information, right? Maybe we can take the dimensions and so on. Those informations are very important. But regarding the system model, as here I'm comparing two information, it's very wise for the designer or for the user that wants to run simulation, like slice or divide or split this box into different areas and give meaning for those different areas. And this is where the system model comes into the play. So as we can see here, we create some separation in this area here 
creating the H4 segment. There is one H4 segment in the upper part, there is one in the bottom part. We can take the shape in front of the driver and we can see here basically three different shapes because they have three different angles and so we can take one of each shape and define as a different horn so we can see here the H1, H2 and H3 like a representation of being three different segments in series to represent this kind of shape we can place the driver here in the baffle. We need a hole to allow the sound to pass through this interface and go into the horn. So we need a chamber, a throat chamber. And once there is a difference in terms of, uh, in terms of volume between the chamber and the horn, there will be a throat adapter. All the rest inside the enclosure is the rear chamber so this is just an example how can we slowly giving meaning to the space inside the enclosure and then cre creating our block diagram also before going into the horn rasp this allow us to better understand and also to be faster and to have a more accurate model to run our simulation. More accurate means that the response predicted by the horn rasp will be closer to the real response. Let's take the second example here. It is a box designed by a guy called Rog Mogali or Rog Mogeo. I don't know what is the right pronunciation, but as we can see here with the colored areas, it needs a lot of blocks to make a proper representation of this box. So we have the yellow colored area we have the light blue, the red, the dark blue, and so on. To proper simulate this box, we need seven horn segments in order to represent it, right? Right. But unfortunately, horn rasp does not offer us such amount of segments. Unfortunately, it is limited to four horn segments in the front of the driver. So what do we do? We can try to combine some segments into a single segment, but it will generate error. It will not be accurate as we want to, because those segments have different flares, and so acoustically they have different response for the sound passing through those segments. So one thing we can do is simplification. We can make a different design for this box and reduce the numbers of the segments to be more aligned with what Horn Rasp offered to us. So as you can see here, I just make a rotation in the box to, in order to both image be in the same place, in the same orientation. And we can see here that those segments, red and blue, were combined into a single segment with a specific flare. So here we have two flares, now we have just one flare. So this will allow you to improve the occurrence of the simulation and the occurrence of your model. You have also the option to keep the design as it is and to choose a different software to run the simulation for this specific model. There will be others, but in the 
freelance speak and plain website, uh, I always prefer to simplify the design if possible in order to improve accuracy. Let's take this other example. This is a box with dual driver. And so we can combine those drivers into a single drive in terms of representation. We also could understand that we have two chambers, but we can also say we have just one big chamber, right? So sometimes there is not wrong and not right. There is just about thinking and playing with the two. So in this case here, what we made, the driver is emitting sound directly to the environment, as we can see here. And besides calling the back of the driver rear chamber, we are calling it throat chamber. And then between the chamber in the entrance of the port, we have the throat adapter. And then the port has a special sh shape that we split it into three different segments. So as you can see here, we can use the throat chamber, here chamber, and so on. Why we didn't use the here chamber? Because if we use the here chamber, we can use just one segment. And here, to proper simulate this kind of profile, we need three segments. So we just invert, let me say, the common sense of the box. But the result will be the same. So. Whenever you are creating a new design or just uh, playing with the horn rasp in order to try to simulate an existing design, it's very important for you to wisely split the areas of the loudspeaker and convert it in the right blocks and arrange that blocks in the proper way to have a very good occurrence for the system you are simulating. Let's see this, another example. The horn in front of the driver is splitted into two different paths, right? Those paths are symmetrical, so we can combine the area of each path like having a big horn. So in the previous example we combined two drivers and we combined two chambers. Now we have just one single driver and one single chambers but we have two horns. But we can combine the horns if they are symmetrical into a single one with a bigger size, bigger cross-sectional area. And this is what we are doing for this example. And there are many other examples. So I hope this video gives you just an overall introduction about the system model, what is behind the system model, why is it important, and what kind of information you can find inside the, inside the system model. That's it. Thank you so much.